What on earth am I supposed to do? What am I here for? I believe the Bible is crystal clear. All of us are here for a reason, for a purpose. And therefore, you need to ask and answer the question, what on earth am I supposed to do? All of us have some things that God wants us to do. And uh, we want to talk about how to hear the Lord say, well done, at the end of it all because we have been excellent stewards of the task that he has given us, the things he has called us to do. So let me start by going back to the foundational uh, parable that I gave you the first Sunday of the year, Matthew 25, and I want to focus on just verses 19 through 21. So go with me to Matthew's gospel, chapter 25, and we'll look at verses 19 through 21, and here's what it says. After a long time, the master returned and settled accounts with his servants. Then look at the next verse. The man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. Here's, here's the verse I want to focus on. Verse 21, his master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. Now, if we want to hear that in every area, we certainly want to hear it when it comes to our task. So here's the question. If you want to hear well done for your task, for having performed your task, the obvious question is, well, how are you going to hear well done if you don't do anything? whole lot of people say, I want to hear well done. Well, what'd you do? <laughs> if, you all, if all you did was sat on your blessed assurance, <laughs> you won't hear well done for sitting around. You won't hear well done. Well, I'm saved. I'm going, I'm on my way to heaven and I'm so glad. You haven't done anything. He did the work that got you saved. He finished the work. So God began the good work in you. He's going to bring it to completion. What he wants from you is to serve him and do his will in the meantime. Till you get to heaven, do his will. So the obvious question is, uh, what have you done? I want to put, pose it this way. I want, you to, I want you to marinate on this question. What on earth am I supposed to do? That's the question I want you to keep firmly in your mind, not only today, but throughout your life. What on earth am I supposed to do? What am I here for? I believe the Bible is crystal clear. All of us are here for a reason, for a purpose. And therefore, you need to ask and answer the question, what on earth am I supposed to do? You are to do something. Ephesians 2 I always talk about 8 and 9 and then verse 10. I'll say it over and over for the rest of my days as a preacher of the gospel. Well, a lot of us know Ephesians 2, 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. That not of yourself, it is a gift of God. Verse 9, not of works, lest any man should boast. So we're saved by grace. I'm not saved by doing. I'm saved by receiving the gift of grace. You don't, you don't, you're not saved because you live right. Sometimes we holiness people, we can sound a little too works oriented for our salvation. I lived right, so I'm on my way to heaven. You're not on your way to heaven because you lived right. Your righteousness is as filthy rags. The only way you're on your way to heaven is because you accepted the gift. For by grace are you saved through faith. That not of yourself, it's the gift of God. Not of works, not of your works, lest any man should boast. But... You need to know verse 10. Verse 10 says, For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, watch this, which God prepared in advance for us to do it. In advance of what? In advance of you getting here. Before you showed up on the planet, God knew what he wanted out of you. He prepared it in advance, and you were created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Matthew 12, 35, Jesus said, a good man, and that's not a gender-specific uh, focus there, so you could say a good man or woman without doing harm to the meaning of Jesus' words. 
brings good things out of the good stored in him, and you could add, or her. It's not a gender distinction. So the good man or woman, the good person is to bring good things out which are stored up in him or her. God stored some stuff in you, but you have to bring it out. God worked it in, you got to work it out. A lot of us have stuff worked in that has never been worked out. You are now getting older, but what God worked in, he still wants a return. He wants a return on his investment in your life. Don't bother trying to talk about going to heaven when you haven't even done what you were on earth to do. Get the earth stuff done first, then you can enjoy heaven. And so we need to talk about how to hear the Lord say well done when it comes to the tasks that we, are, we have been assigned by our creation in Christ. When you got saved, there was a, an assignment on your life. God knew why he saved you, not just to take you to heaven. He saved you because he wants to get something out of you before you go to heaven. 